Well, hey there, my friends. It is so good to have you back for another episode in the series of Thanksgiving 2020. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a trick, as I said last week, that is absolutely perfect to do at the dinner table with your family and friends. Hey, that's coming up right after this. Well, welcome back or welcome to Presto Paul TV. I'm your host, Presto Paul. And on this channel, I teach you the best tricks, tips, and techniques on magic for beginners. If you are new here, we are in the middle of a series for Thanksgiving 2020, where I'm showing you how to do simple tricks with the stuff laying on the table while you're gathered around with your family and friends over turkey dinner. Hey, if you are new, I hope you would consider subscribing. Go ahead and do that right now and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss a video when it comes out. We do have a motto here, my friends. Let's all say it together. You gotta have fun. You'll live longer. So let's have some fun and get right into the magic. Well, welcome to video number three in the series of Thanksgiving with Presto Paul. I hope you're enjoying these videos and getting some good value out of them. If you are, go ahead and click that like button to let me know you're having a good time. I wanted to share with you something. I want to teach you a classic in magic. This is the classic torn and restored napkin. You're at the table, so there's napkins laying everywhere. So you grab a couple napkins like this and I'll show you how to prepare for this, okay? So you take one napkin and you crumple it up into a tiny little ball like this. Get it nice and tight and hide it in your fingers. Right here, I've shown a video about finger palming before. I'll put a link up here in one of those. I did it with coins, I think, in the one video. Anyway, you're gonna hide that in there. Don't worry about it, just act natural because you're gonna be holding the napkin and you're gonna hold it like this and you could show both sides of the napkin. With your hand like this, no one's gonna see that you have that little secret extra piece. You need that piece because you're gonna do a switch here in a second and I will show you. Then you take the napkin and you start to tear it up into pieces like this. You just tear it down, tear it up, tear it all over and you ball it up into a tiny, tiny little ball. Now, you're gonna take it at your fingertips like this and you're just gonna put it in your hand. Now they might see the other pieces in there but don't worry because they don't know what a bunch of pieces of napkins should be inside your hand. But then you're gonna do a secret move. You're gonna do a secret move as you go to your pocket here in a second to get some magic dust. The secret move is you have to switch this one with this one. And all you do while your hand is back towards your audience, don't do it this way, that'll give this secret away. All you do is switch them. Place them over in this hand, reach into your pocket and get some magic pixie dust, magic dust like this, and then all you have to do is pull the pieces apart carefully because you don't want to tear it at this point and you very gingerly, 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 very gingerly, <laughs> very gingerly, you open up the napkin like this and people will be amazed. Take your time with this. It's a great trick with a great restoration of a napkin right in front of their eyes. Now, th there is a little problem with this trick. You have this one piece over here that you switched out before. Um, now, people on your right side might see that. And sometimes, I, I mean, I've gotten busted on this before too, but don't worry. If you're a good magician, just reach into your pocket and get some more magic pixie dust. You sprinkle it on those pieces and then you slowly, just like we did before, very slowly, because you got to give time for those pieces to kind of go back together again. And you just pull it very gently and gingerly. I got it right this time and gingerly. And that second set of papers will magically go right back together just like that. There you go. That's how you do the torn and restored napkin. No, I'm kidding. That was a advanced version. Let me teach you a simple version of the torn and restored napkin right now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that performance of the torn and restored napkin. I teased you last week by telling you this week I was going to teach you an easy trick that's going to be absolutely perfect for Thanksgiving and this is it. It is the Torn and Restore napkin but this is going to be the easy version. Get yourself two napkins. Make sure they're the same color napkin. If you have two different color napkins this effect is completely different. All you're going to do is when you go to the restroom or when people are distracted under the table take an extra napkin and ball it up into a tiny tiny ball. You want to leave the ends out a little bit if you can, uh, kind of like a little bow tie. And then you can squish these ends in like this into a tiny, tiny ball. There's going to be a reason for that in just a second. 
and you are going to hide it in that finger palm inside your hand just like I showed you, but you have that hidden in your hand. Now, when you're ready to do this, maybe at the end of the meal when you're getting ready to get rid of your napkin and just before they're gonna go off and start watching the football games and everything else going on, you're gonna say, hey, check this out. And you can show both sides of the napkin just like I said because you are hiding that extra piece inside your hand. You're gonna rip this napkin down the middle. Now you're gonna to wanna to hold it with this hand over here, that whatever hand is holding out that extra piece, just hold that hand steady, and then you can pull with the other hand. So the action is over here, people are gonna be looking at what is moving versus what is not moving because you have something hidden in your hand. And you can tear this up any way you want into tiny pieces, and you're gonna do the exact same thing that I started to show you earlier, and you're gonna ball it up into a tiny, tiny ball while hiding the restored pieces. Now you are going to have to make that switch just like I showed you. So you're gonna reach into your left pocket if you're right-handed and holding this in your right hand, pretending to look for your magic pixie dust or magic coin or magic wand, whatever you have in your pocket. And while you're looking down here, all eyes will follow your eyes. That's the misdirection. You're gonna do that move and all you do is switch the packets like that as you're reaching into your pocket, then you go to put this one in this hand, but you leave this one now in your hand. So you put this in the hand and you hold that up. Now you reach into your pocket over here to get the magic pixie dust. At the same time, you're getting rid of these pieces into your pocket. Now you come out with your magic pixie dust, you sprinkle it on those pieces there and you are done because now you're completely clean and you grab it at the corners. That's why I had you do that with the little corners on there because you're gonna see as you open this up, those corners will seem to pop out to make it easy for you to grab on the tips like that and pull this apart. You do wanna do this very carefully because this could tear at this point and you don't wanna have that kind of an effect. So you just gingerly open up the piece just like this and you have a completely and restore napkin and you're left completely clean with nothing in your hands. Boy, this is a good one, guys. I hope you give this one a shot. Thank you so much for checking it out. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed video three in the series of Thanksgiving with Presto Paul. I have a special surprise for you because I forgot this Thursday is actually Thanksgiving. So if I waited to show you the next video for next Monday, it would be after Thanksgiving. So today you're going to get two, two, two videos in one day. So if you have not yet, be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell so you'll be notified when this next video comes out later today. And I have saved the best for last. So until later today, I'm your host, Presto Paul. And remember, you gotta have fun. You'll live longer and click on the bell notification so you do not, so you do not, see, and click on the bell notification so you do not miss a future video when it comes out.